All right, fine, you can do that. So um, what we have on this example is they're asking us to go ahead and find the equation of our ellipse. So I kept this example up here because I want to keep on reverting this back to you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and figure out what our coordinate points are. All right, This one actually is 0, 9. This is 0, 7. Over here, it's 0, negative 9. And this one right here is 0, negative 7. And we also know that the center is at 0, 0. All right, so that's what we're given right now. Now, I wrote in these, in between these values, so these are actually not on points. So I don't want to estimate what these points are right now. We do know they're points, but they're not at 5 and they're not at 6. So right now, I'm not going to estimate what I think they're going to be. All right? Now, let's go ahead. So we have a vertical ellipse, right, where our major axis is vertical. So therefore, I'm going to write the equation of a major axis, which is x minus 8 squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. Now, um, what we're going to do for this is we look at our center, right? We know that h comma k is going to be our center, just like a circle. So our center in this case is 0, 0. So can I just write x squared then? Because you guys know x minus 0 squared is just x squared. Okay. So we have x squared plus y squared. Now, do we know what? All right, so first of all, now let's go and determine what our a and our b are. So remember, that distance is a, right? This distance is c, and this distance is b. Right? So can we determine what our a is? So a, the distance from our center to our vertex, is going to be 9. But do we know what b squared is yet? No. no. All right. But do we know what c is? c is equal to 7. So if I know that a is equal to 9 and c is equal to 7, do you guys remember that formula that I gave you how a, b, and c all relate to each other? It says that a squared equals b squared plus c squared. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Kind of like the Pythagorean theorem, but a little bit different. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared. So therefore, I have 9 squared equals b squared plus c squared. So therefore, I have 81 equals b squared plus 49. So then I solve for b squared by subtracting 49. And therefore, I get b squared equals 32. Square root both sides. So b equals the square root of 32. However, in our formula, they're asking for what b squared is. So what was b squared? 32. And then 9 squared we know is equal to 81. And we know this answer equals 1. So to find your formula, it's important to, one, determine where your vertex is. I'm sorry, where your center is. And then determine the distance for your A, either your B, or your C. You're going to have to know at least two of them to then use this formula to help you find the other value, either A or B, for your equation. OK? And that's it for that. Will they sometimes give you B? Yep, sometimes we'll give you B. So I mean, it would be 